quick tips for the forehand uh, based on Vasilas village technique. You know, let's start from the bottom. One of the things that you're gonna notice is that, and this happens in all the good plays I had with forehands so that I have a pretty good power, is you wanna create a pretty good wide base with your legs when you're getting ready to swing that ball. Wide base meaning that you wanna, you wanna have your, your legs spread. Shoulder width's not gonna be enough. I would say at least, at least outside your shoulder width. If it's a little more, they're gonna be shots where you're gonna go longer and that's gonna put you in a better position to use the core and the legs. You have to use, to create that massive power, you must use your legs and the core as well to create the power. The, the shoulder and the arm are nowhere near as powerful as the power that we have in our torso, the core and the legs. So you want to start with a good base position when you get it ready to swing, to swing that ball. The second one is that you, if, 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 if you notice all good players, the three guys that hit the ball really hard, Basilashvili on the forehand, Del Potro and Fernando Verdasco, if you notice one thing, they, they have one common denominator. They prepare, they prepare pretty high. They don't go low, they prepare high. Del Potro doesn't let the racket drop so much, but Fernando Verdasco, in, back in his days, you know, and Basile Ashvili, they really use gravity to let a racket drop, go a longer way. So in a longer, in a longer, um, if, if, you, if you have a race car and you race that car half a mile or three quarters of a mile, well, the three quarters of a mile is gonna gain more speed. It's the same, it's the same thing that happens with that racket. It's gaining much more speed by the time it gets to the ball, okay? So you wanna pay attention to your preparation. If you have a compact swing here, it's gonna be difficult to generate that much, um, that much power, that much speed on the head of the racket. You're gonna be muscling more the ball and that's not gonna be good for your arm and your elbow. Um, Another thing is when uh, one of the one of the if, if you pay attention to the grip, some of the players they like Feder, they like to separate the English finger here. Well, this is going to help you. This is going to help you control the racket better, and and you still can and you still can create a good lag. But if like like Ferrer used to do, you know, some players and I believe uh, Vasilas Billy does it too. They grab the racket more with the hands, with the fingers together. And that is going to create, that creates even more lag on the racket because this finger is not stopping the racket from creating even, even, even to, to, from coming even behind, even more behind or, or, or angle with your arm. And also when you make contact with, with this kind of grip, it helps you rotate that racket better. If you pay attention in the video, he makes contact and his racket doesn't look like it goes like really, really far forward he, he makes contact and the racket comes pretty pretty close to his body around because the racket already gained speed so by the time he makes contact with the ball he doesn't want he doesn't want to put more speed on the ball going through he know he, he he says i already gained speed i already gained momentum what i need now is a top spin to keep that ball from flying long that's why the, the when you make contact the closer when you're missing long is your racket is extending that way. When you make contact and that windshield wiper comes more standing in front of you like this, that's gonna be more tough spin and give you more consistency on your shots. It's more like an arch. But if you mix, you can use that and mix it with the speed and, 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 and you know, of your racket going on a long swing and that, and until you get to the point where you say, okay, it's a good mix, I can control it here, you know? So just, just, just those really quick tips that I wanted to talk about. Okay, and uh, I hope it helps. Let me know. Um, give me a like, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you very much. Bye.